I'm gonna take apart some battery backup systems today. I got four of them laid out here, and uh, I brought I brought the old hammer along. But I'm not planning to use it right away. First thing I'm gonna do. Well, first off, take a look. These are power sources. You can plug in if your computer needs power during a power failure. There's batteries inside of each one of these. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to disarm all these batteries and get them out of there so I don't get shocked. Is there an easier way? I love to rip things apart. I got to remember that about me. Come on up. Come on up. Up here. Oh, there it is. Okay, I just want to get the, all the batteries out of these units to make them a little safer. Oh, this one's easy. And I'm not going to just toss these batteries. I'm going to test them all to see if they're any good. Okay, what do we got here? Now remember, the reason we're taking these apart is we get more money for the components than we do if we're just to take it in for copper or steel. have two batteries in it. I don't know why it's such a fight. I think it does. No, oh, here's one. Now I can tell there's something wrong with that. Look at how it's bent. It looks like it got overheated. And there's a second one in here. If you see here it's bent. It's just not coming out for me. You know, since I'm scrapping. There, got them up. Okay, look at all these batteries. There's one more here. <laughs> okay, uh, it just takes a second to disarm these, and it's a lot safer. Might as well pop them both off. Oh, look at that one came right out. But basically, these, these four batteries are identical, and that one there. So let's, let's have at this, see how easy this stuff's going to be. Generally, the next thing I do is get all the cords and uh, put all the copper separately, of course. There's going to be a lot more copper inside these. Short so much this time. I'm just gonna see how fast I can knock these babies apart. <laughs> I mean, what could be more fun than getting paid to take things apart? You know, the more stuff I take apart, the more I understand how things are built, of course. I'm not trying to say I'm taking these apart to put them back together. Again. No way, we're scrapping them here. Now, if you don't have a drill, you can always do this with a, a handheld screwdriver. There's some metal. And then here's some plastic here. 
top. I'll just keep at it, I guess. I want to get the motherboards out. Look at, see that transformer? That thing is full of copper. And all the wires. Why aren't you coming out? I must oh, I've got more screws. It's always easier to unscrew them than to fight them. Okay, let's go after some of the copper wire again. Now every every part of this, like you see that yellow brass there, we, we're going to separate that, not in this video, but we're going to keep everything we can. And uh, It's a lot more fun to take four of them apart at the same time than just take one. Now this right here I'm just going to keep for yellow brass and we'll see what else I can take apart here. Here's the circuit board. They bust out pretty easy too, but... Like I say, I'm going after whatever I can for copper. Okay. Now, I take every piece of wire off. Okay, that's a, that's a circuit board. There's another one here. copper off of here. Sometimes these pop out, sometimes they don't. But another thing is, I like not to waste a lot of time when I'm taking stuff apart. And taking, taking four of these apart is a lot simpler than setting up each time. And uh, there's another circuit board, but in that, there's some aluminum here. So, it doesn't hurt to pop that off if you can. You don't have to be too careful. But if you see it, you might as well grab it if you can. There's another piece of aluminum right here. Okay, there's another circuit board. Now, the number one thing in here is this transformer. You want to separate it down. Sometimes I save these and I, I take the copper out of them, and sometimes I don't. But if you know anything about scrapping, it's been my experience that um, you get more money for copper in the wintertime. But that thing, you can't see it, but it's full of copper. Okay, let's keep going. Now, this, there's one circuit board in there. I don't know if I'm going to play with that right now. Alright, that's that's metal. Let's see how fast we can get another one of these things apart here. I don't see any screws. But when all else fails, just uh... Oh yeah, look at all that copper hiding in here. <laughs> okay, I don't even know where to begin. There's so much copper in here. Just start snipping.
basically what they are is a, a battery charger that charges a battery in case your computer goes down or you, you can use it for anything you want. I mean technically you can use it to run your TV or a lamp. And uh, there's another. Okay, here's some steel. Starting to make a pile here. And look at all these plugs here. A lot of times it's worth hanging on to them. Never know when you might need a plug. They look like they're standard household plugs to me. Wow, look at the size of that motherboard. Now people have been commenting on our videos. There's, there's two or three different grades of these circuit boards. So, actually I'm learning something from my customers. And, and look at that transformer in there hiding. Transformer out of there, and the rest of it will be a lot of scrap metal. Okay, get that out. And another piece of scrap metal. And then over here, I got one more. That, that was a, a well-built steel one. And, um, I'm going to try to hang on to these plugs here as it, as it goes. I could always put them back to use again. Okay. That was a well-built steel one. This one's a plastic one. So, there isn't much... Transformer at. I don't see any money hiding in here. But still, I got a lot of parts in here. Let's see what I can. Uh... Oh, look at this. I don't even need any tools. There we go. Plastic, some copper. Well, thanks a lot for watching. Let's see what some of this stuff is made out of. Like I say, here's some motherboards. Here's some transformers. There's more motherboards. And uh, I'm going to clean all that up. There's a, a big heavy transformer. The money hiding inside of what you would just get scrap metal price for. We're going to get aluminum and copper out of this. And the motherboards. Thanks. And the batteries. There were some. That's, that's probably five bucks worth of batteries or ten. got it all apart while you guys are watching TV. I'm out here doing stuff. Let me show you what I got. I got a pile of motherboards here. And then I have a pile of yellow brass. The guy at the scrapyard told me anything that's got yellow brass in it, he'll take it as breakage. And then here are transformers. A lot, a lot of copper. I could take more time and separate that more. Take a look here, we got a bunch of aluminum, and then this is the only steel I got out of the whole thing. That That's what I would have got for the whole thing, a little bit of steel money. And then of course, the batteries, I'm going to get, you know, a buck or two a piece for those. And then, this is what I call garbage, this is the plastic, and of course look at all this copper. So. I mean, just making money where you would have just made steel money. It's, if you think it's thinking, oh, oh, he's just not making any money by the hour. I'm making some money. That's the point. <laughs> All right. Okay, I got everything apart. 
starting here on the right, on my right, your left, is plastic. It's worth nothing. And then look, look at these three big, big transformers here. Look at this one, must weigh five or eight pounds or maybe 10. Here's another one. And then these little transformers come off the motherboards. I snap those off. And then here I got a pile of aluminum scrap, aluminum breakage. A lot of that came off the transformers. This is the steel. There's hardly any steel. So that, that you get nothing for. Look at all these batteries here. One, two, three, four, five batteries. And then the motherboards, of course. I get a separate price for that. Yellow brass. I get a separate price for that. And I'm going to make sure that I'm going to break it into two types of yellow brass. Clean. And then with, with the extension cords here, or all the, the uh, plugs, the guy at the scrapyard says he gives me just about as much without cutting these off. So that, that's a little bit of 